by transcription. Stick around, folks. Stick around. Why? Because today's the day for the great news in the My Friend Irma March of Dimes contest. May I start with a riddle? Thank you. What's the difference between Irma and a donut? The village philosopher said, well, one has a hole in the middle and the other has a hole in the head. (laughs) Gee, I'm glad you brought up poetry because I have a poem about ends. Well, let's hear it. Tommy and Billy were two little boys and they were very good friends. One day they hocked their mother's teeth so their father whacked both of their ends. <laughs> well, friends, if you ask me, Irma's rhymes are literary crimes. And speaking of crimes, that's what triple O is. Because it's so easy to stop with ENDS chlorophyll tablets. Yes, ENDS. E-N-N-D-S. Stop triple O. Stop odors of body, odors of breath, odor of fence. Stop all three all at the same time. Keep you fresh as a daisy all day, all over. It's amazing. But one or two tiny ENDS tablets daily are all you need to stop. Triple O. And now, N, America's most popular chlorophyll tablets, are proud to present your favorite comedy show, created by Cy Howard and starring Marie Wilson as Irma and Kathy Lewis as Jane, in... My Friend Irma. Paper Jane? Reading? Yes, yes, honey. Uh, what are you reading? Hmm? What are you reading? Oh, it's just an article on psychology as applied to marriage, a series of questions designed to see if a girl and the man of her choice are suited for each other. Isn't that unusual? Well, no, why should it be? Well, when Al and I sit on the sofa, he never asks me any questions, and we get along fine. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, there's more to it than that. This article approaches the problem of compatibility with scientific introspection. Well, maybe I can learn something. Read it to me. All right, honey. Uh, Let's see. Does the man you intend to marry keep appointments? Is he punctual? Punctual? Why, Al is in line for his unemployment check even before the office is open. (laughs) Mark down one. One? Yeah, now... Is he the type of man you would ever be ashamed to be seen with? No, because we never go anyplace. No. (laughs) Do the two of you like to participate in sports? Well, I like swimming and tennis. Yeah. What about Al? Jane, is tilting pinball machines a sport? (laughs) Well, if they catch you, yeah... Do you like dancing? Yeah. Does your boyfriend? No. Do you like to go to the theater? Yeah. Does your boyfriend? Only when he has a pass. Oh. <laughs> well, according to this psychological test, the two of you just don't click. Well, maybe you're right, Jane. Lately, I've been having my doubts, too. Well, what are you going to do about it? Well, Al will be here any minute, and I'm going to give him one more chance. Either he'll change, or this is the end. End. <laughs> well, that's up to you, Irma. Come in. Hello, Jane. Hi, you chicken. Oh, hello, Al, honey. I gotta run along, kid. You know, wait a minute, Jane. I mean, you don't even want to hear about my new deal. Can't oh, wait. Oh, you will love this. It's a racing form printed on a large cookie. So after a day at the track, you still got something to eat. <laughs> Sounds good, huh? Irma, I can only say if you find you have anything in common with this man, get rid of it. (laughs) Snooty dame. She ain't never going to amount to anything. Al, I'd like to go to the theater tonight. Will you please take me? Chicken, why this sudden request? Allie, it's very important for us. You see, you and I are psychopathic cases. (laughs) What are you talking about, chicken? I insist you take me to the theater. But, honey, I ain't got a pass. They got a big doorman. 
And to clinch it, they're painting the fire escape. <laughs> let's, let's pay our way in. Hey, Chicken, you are tampering with my principal. <laughs> oh, it's no use, Al. We've nothing in common. We might as well face it. You and I need a scientific inspection. What? We're not combustible. <laughs> Don't you mean compatible? What's the difference what I mean? We're just not for each other. Chicken, you mean that? Yes, Al. Let us just consider this whole experience as an interlude, a motel on the highway of life. Chicken, you're nuts. That's beside the point. This is the end. <laughs> this is the end, and I think we should break clean. Chicken, I, I don't know what to say. But if you think you'll find more happiness with another, here's your ring back. Thanks, Al. <laughs> Maybe you'll change your mind someday. Goodbye, Irvin. You're a swell kid. I won't ever forget you. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> You're crying. Well, don't feel sad, sweetie. Oh, I can't help it, Jane. I always feel sad when I'm crying. <laughs> now, listen to me, Irma. The worst is over. Now, you try to forget it. Believe me, it's for the best. You're, you're really in an enviable position. You have the whole world before you, Irma. You're footloose and fancy free. Footloose and fancy free? Sure. Now, dry those tears. Come on, let's have a smile. Come on. Okay. Go on now. Let me hear you laugh. <laughs> All right, that's more like it. You be gay, huh? Come in. Zombie me, Professor Kowalski. <laughs> Hello, Jane, your neighbor. My two little jigsaw puzzles. One complete. One, a few pieces are missing. <laughs> Excuse me, Jenny, a little joke I picked up in a toy store. <laughs> yeah, what's new, Irma? <laughs> what is this? Professor. Professor, I'm footloose and fancy and it's free. Irma. <laughs> Professor, Al and Irma have parted. And she's trying to be gay. So it finally happened. Mm -hmm. I knew it would someday. Now, don't feel so badly, Irma. Remember, there's an old saying. A stitch in time will save nine. Well, how does that apply to me? It don't. This is a slogan for Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> but there is. There is a very old saying that I do like. It takes a heap of living to make a home. Well, I think I'll go up to my home and clean out that heap so I can live in it. <laughs> oh, Jane, I made a mistake. I'll, I'll never find another man like Al. You made a decision, Irma. Don't be a weakling. Well, I, I guess you're right, Jane. I'm just going to look around for someone else. That's fine. Now, who can that be? Maybe it's Al. Come back. Come in. Oh, dearie. Oh, Violet and Murphy, what a surprise. You remember my roommate, Jane? Yeah. Hi, Jane. Hello, Violet. I'll see you later, honey. Bye. <gasps> Gee, Irma, I rushed right over. Look. Oh, Violet, an engagement ring. <laughs> it's 14 karat gold. Oh, Violet, what a beautiful setting. Next year I get the stone. <laughs> I wish you all the happiness in the world. <laughs> well, why are you crying, dearie? Well, you're engaged, and Al and I just broke up. Well, so what? This town is crummy with guys. Look, Irma, if you want a fella, do like I did. Write to the Lonely Hearts group. They got stuff lying all over the place. <laughs> and it's perfectly confidential. They give you a number... And if you're lucky like me, 
They don't ask you for a picture. <laughs> you mean you mean I could get a number if I wrote to them? That's right, dearie. Nobody uses a name. Now look, say you're number twelve. Then the fellow might be number thirty-four. And all mail goes right to a box, so he don't even know where you live and vice versa. All right, Violet, I'll do anything to meet some new fella. You can't miss, dearie. Oh, and wouldn't it be wonderful if my husband and I ran into Al someday and I could say, Al, congratulate me. I am Mrs. 94. <laughs> Here's a man with triple O. Let's listen as he asks his druggist what to do. Can you give me really effective protection against triple O? Odors of breath, odors of body, and odor of fence? I've never found any old-fashioned deodorant that could take care of all three. Yes, ENDS chlorophyll tablets stop all three at the same time. Stop triple O. It's the new safe and pleasant way to stay fresh as a daisy all over, all day long. But how about these cheaper chewing gum or candy products? They contain chlorophyll, too. But look at any of them. Nowhere does the label state how much chlorophyll it contains. Why, you're right. Now, look at the ENDS label. It states very clearly that ENDS contain 100 milligrams of Daritol chlorophyll, a fully effective dose. That's why only one or two tiny ENDS tablets a day stop triple O. Stop all three odor offenses all day long. But don't expect such long-lasting results from cheaper chewing gum or candy substitutes that contain so little chlorophyll. Ends are so effective because they start acting instantly inside the body where odors begin. So for pennies a day, you get Ends longer-lasting protection. They're pleasant-tasting, safe, too. Safe as any garden vegetable. Get E-N-N-D-S. Ends chlorophyll tablets and be sure you stop triple O. Trial size only 49 cents at drug counters everywhere. Larger sizes even more economical. And now back to my friend Irma. Arts Club. I don't know why she did it, but I suppose if it was good enough for Violet Murphy, it's good enough for Irma. So already she has a number, 75. She's kind of worried about her number. She's afraid if she signs her letter 75, she won't get a man under 80. <laughs> so I explained that the number has no personal significance, and right now she's writing her first letter to the club. It'll be forwarded to some unknown man. Dear to whom it may concern... I am a lonely girl. My heart is broken. I have blonde hair and brown eyes and nice legs and would like to meet a man in the same condition. No. <laughs> no, dear. No. What's wrong? You put all your eggs in that basket, but they are scrambled. <laughs> Let me help you, sweetie. All right, Jane. Uh, let's see. Um, dear sir, I am 24 years old, blonde, Considered attractive and am quite lonely. I should like very much to make the acquaintance of a gentleman who is also lonely. Now sign it. All right, Jane. Do you think I should spray a little perfume on it? You know the bottle Al gave me? Irma, I have smelled that perfume. It will not only keep men away, but also mosquitoes. <laughs> no, sweetie. Just mail it as it is. All right, Jane. <laughs> Hello, girls. Oh, Mushy, what are you doing here? I come about Al. Uh, this letter was sticking out of your mailbox. Oh, thanks. Hey, man, you gotta take Al back. Well, does he really miss me, Mushy? Well, you wouldn't know it was the same person. He give a lady a seat on the bus. <laughs> Seems to be out of his mind. But it's all over All right, I'll tell him But his last word was If you didn't take him back He's going to join that French organization Where all men go to forget You know The Follies Baguette <laughs> Well, goodbye, girl Irma, come on Aren't you going to see who the letter is from? Oh, yes 
Oh, Jane, it's from the Lonely Hearts Club. Well, read it. I'm dying of curiosity. All right. My dear Miss 75, in answer to your letter, I too am lonely. What can we do about it? Signed, 33322. Oh, Jane, that's a wonderful number. What do you mean, wonderful? We'll have a big family. <laughs> I don't follow you. Well, in poker, three threes and a pair of twos is a full house. Oh. <laughs> now, Irma, don't go jumpy to conclusions. You don't even know this man. Oh, I'm so excited. Imagine getting an answer so quickly. It's me again. Hello, girl. Why do you all look so happy? Irma has a new boyfriend. Oh, wonderful. Irma, what's his name? Three, 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 two, two. Irma, convict. Listen, listen to me, go back to Al At least he wasn't caught yet No, Professor, no Irma's been corresponding through the Lonely Hearts Club And everybody has a number Oh, congratulations, Irma And take the advice of an old man Find out what the man is like right away Before you get involved Oh, I'm going to, but first of all I'm going to find out one thing If he has a job You know what I You know what I just went through with my ex Your ex? Yes, I, I want to even forget his name. Of course, my ex was very sweet to me. My ex made me happy. I love my ex, and I, I dreamed that day I would marry my ex. Irma, you're slipping, remember? Come on. Oh, yes. I must be gay. <laughs> now, honey, there's no time to waste. Answer the letter. Come on. All right. Dear... Three, 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 two. Well, Irma has finished her letter and I'm proofreading it for her. It says, um, Dear 33322, two, do you mind if I call you Dear 32? I feel I know you well enough to call you by your initials. <laughs> I was thrilled to get your letter, and I hope you turn out the way I picture you. Of course, your writing is very small. Are you short? <laughs> have you got a job? I have. And hoping to hear the same from you, I remain affectionately 75. Yes, sir? What can the Lonely Hearts Club do for you? Oh, my name is Al. My number is 33322. <laughs> I'm corresponding with the girl number 75. Any mail for me? I should look in the box. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Here's a letter for you, 333-22. Uh, by the way, how are you getting along with your correspondence? Well, frankly, the dame seems a little cracked. But I'm so anxious to get over this lump in my heart. You know, the girl I love jilted me that I'll try anything. Well, here you are. Good luck. <laughs> three days, I've been hearing nothing but three, 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 two, two, and 75 that's coming out of my ears. You know, if those two ever get together, I think they'll have to be married by a bookkeeper. <laughs> but of course, since the letter that Irma's expecting today should contain valuable information about her new phantom boyfriend, I was just as excited as she was when she said, Jane, Jane, the letter came. Isn't that it wonderful? Came? Come on, read it, read it. Oh, no, you read it to me. I'm too excited. Okay, okay, sit down now, sit down. Okay. Um, dear 75, Thank you for your letter. I was hoping the girl I was corresponding with was a Vassar graduate, but it seems quite impossible since I noticed you spelled considered with a K. <laughs> However, none of us is perfect. <laughs> he spells perfect, P-E-R-F-E-K. Well, go on, Jane, go on. You ask me, have I got a job? Well, 75, as number to number, let me inform you that I have worked hard and steadily all my life as head of a big steel corporation. <laughs> and now I am preparing to retire. 
How are you fixed financially? <laughs> I am perfectly healthy, tall, and so handsome it's disgusting. <laughs> Yours devotedly, 33322. Three, three, two. Well, what do you think, Jane? I don't know. This is either a genius or a crackpot. <laughs> but anybody would be an improvement over Al. I beg your pardon, your ex. Shall I answer him? Well, honey, I think it's about time you met him. All right, Jane. I'll write him to come up here. Oh, no. Oh, no, not for two reasons. First, if you don't like him after you meet him, we don't want him hanging around here. And secondly, we want to make a good impression on him. Well, how do I go about that? I don't know. Wait a minute. Richard and I are having dinner at the Pavilion Club tomorrow night, and he can be our guest. But how will he recognize me? Well, uh, write that you'll wear a green hat. But what if someone else is wearing a green hat? He's liable to marry the wrong girl. Well, tell him you'll leave your number with the head waiter, and Henri will bring him to our table. Well, all right, Gina. I'll sit down and, and write him a letter right away. Yeah, and honey, in your letter, try to make yourself attractive. You know, show an interest in what he's doing. Well, uh, gee, if he's in the steel business, what can I say? I don't know, say, um, say that you realize that steel is the backbone of this country and that you're, um, fascinated by blast furnaces <laughs> and trust he finds you interesting. I got it. Now, what are you going to write? Uh, well, uh, it must be interesting to steal blast furnaces <laughs> and I trust you will like me because I have one of the nicest backbones in the country. <laughs> So just invite him to dinner at the Pavilion Club. Well, we're all at a table in the Pavilion Club. Richard, myself, and uh, number 75. We're waiting for 33322. Two. I must say, 75 looks adorable. She's wearing a green hat, and she's taking no chances. On it is a 75. <laughs> Since this dinner is costing Richard a pretty penny, I, too, am very curious to see what Irma has landed. Honey, smile. Come on now, come on. Look happy. Oh, I'm sorry, Jane. I was just thinking. About Al. Now, Irma, what did you promise? That's Irma, you say this Mr. 33322 two is in the steel business? Yes. Well, then I must know him. Oh, I'm sure you do. Well, it's going to be wonderful to have dinner with an old friend. Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> you know, every time we've been out together, I'd look across the table and who would I see? Ow! Shake it. You're wearing a green hat. And you're wearing a carnation. Seventy-five! Al, you're not 33322. Three, two. I sure am. What a roundabout way to get a free meal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Al, I'm so glad to see you. Me too, Chicken. Just a minute. You have your nerve working steady. A steel magnet. I don't even know what I wrote. I didn't even know it was Irma. All I know is I was going crazy from missing her. Lots of guys turned to drink. I turned to the Lonely Hearts Club. Oh, Al, it's all my fault in that psychological test. Well, what's the difference, chicken? Just wanted you to know I love you, and I always will. Now, Jane, if you want me to, I'll go. Sit down, Al. Sit down and order. No, thanks. I ain't hungry. No wonder you ate half my platter while you were talking. <laughs> Irma and Jane will be back in a moment, but first... Can't anything be done about triple O? Yes, here's amazing news about a scientific odor test. Eight out of ten men and women stopped or definitely reduced triple O. Stopped odor of body, stopped odor of breath, stopped offending. Executives, secretaries, clerks, even factory workers at 110 degrees heat took ENDS chlorophyll tablets. Results from hundreds and hundreds of examinations were astounding. Working inside the body where odors begin, ENDS actually prevented unpleasing odors from forming. Stopped. Triple O. 
stopped. All three odor offenses. Yes, there's scientific proof that ends really stop triple O. Keep you fresh as a daisy all over, all day long. You get more complete, more lasting protection against triple O than from any old-fashioned body deodorant, toothpaste, soap, mouthwash. And ends are so easy to use. Safe. Safe as any green vegetable. Pleasant tasting. Ends contain 100 milligrams, a fully effective dose of Daritol chlorophyll. So beware of cheaper chewing gum or candy substitutes that contain so little chlorophyll or that fail to state their chlorophyll content on the label. Insist on ENDS chlorophyll tablets. That's ENDS, E-N-N-D-S. Trial size only 49 cents, larger sizes even more economical. Stop triple O with ENDS, ENDS. back together on the sofa, and they're as much in love as ever, and they're making gooey talk, he says. How is my darling Wallach, little 75? Oh, just find my great big three, 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 two, two. <laughs> <laughs> if that isn't nauseating enough, Irma is now making with more numbers. Fourteen. No, I don't like that. Thirty-two. Yes, thirty-two and thirty-three. Irma, I know Al is 33322 two, and you're 75. What are those other numbers? Oh, I'm just picking out names for the children. <laughs> Can you imagine anybody offering money to employ a brain like that? But they did, Jane, because as you know, folks, three weeks ago, my friend Irma, in the person of Marie Wilson, offered to work as secretary for a day to the personal firm in the United States offering the highest bid to the March of Dimes Anti-Polio Fund. And today, we are pleased to announce the name of the winner. The winning bid is $5,000, which will be contributed at once to the March of Dimes by the Coca-Cola Bottling Company of Fort Worth, Texas, who want Irma, in the person of Marie Wilson, to work as secretary in the office of the Infantile Paralysis Chapter Headquarters in Fort Worth. So to the city of Fort Worth and the Coca-Cola Bottling Company, our congratulations. And watch out... My friend Irma will be heading your way this week. Gee, Jane, isn't it exciting? I always told you that someday my brain would be worth a lot of money. Yeah, that's right, Cookie, and I always knew that someday there'd be a price on the head of my friend Irma. <laughs> <laughs> My Friend Irma is a Cy Howard production and is directed by Park Levy, who writes the script with Stanley Adams. Pat Burton is associate producer. Marie Wilson is starred as Irma, and Kathy Lewis as Jane. The part of Al was played by John Brown. Hans Conried was heard as Professor Kropotkin, Gloria Gordon as Mrs. O'Reilly, and Alan Reed as Mr. Clyde. Fly Fredrickson as Richard, Ed Max as Mushy, and Sandra Gould as Violet Murphy. Music was under the direction of Lud Gruskin. Tired-looking eyes can ruin your appearance, make you look unattractive, dull. So don't take chances. When eyes are red, weary from lack of sleep, glare, driving, get eye gene. Two soothing drops in each eye float away that tired eye feeling at once. Eye gene is like a prescription, contains Lexitol, acts as a tonic for the eyes. Safe, gentle, too. Get eye gene, E-Y-E-G-E-N-E, -E -E, tonight. Use it daily for bright, attractive eyes. Trial size only 25 cents, larger sizes even more economical. Hygiene at drug counters everywhere. Be with us next Sunday at this time when ENDS, America's most popular chlorophyll tablets, again bring you My Friend Irma. Paul Caruso speaking. Now stay tuned for Irma's Brook starring E. Martin, which follows immediately on most of these CBS stations. My friend Irma was transcribed. This is the CBS Radio Network.